Put on YouTube. How's it going? Please, everything's going all right. Hold on, I gotta fix these lights. So, no auctions won today. Uh, there we go. That's better. I did go. I had to pick up some medicine. The wife's got a cough, so I went to Walgreens and I picked up some Sony radios that were on sale for like eighty percent off. <laughs> Uh, I got them for five bucks. So I bought two of those. That was the only two they had left. So I bought those. Um, walked through some liquidation.com. I look at manifests, and I know I've heard it's crazy high. I haven't looked today. Uh, so I'm going to show you that. And then I wanted to show you uh, this sale was compliments of, I don't know if she's here. Donna, hey, Donna, what's up? Donna was compliments of Donna. I think she was the one that gave me the comps and told me what it was. So I finally sold it, and I'll show you what that was. But uh, mainly I wanted – I got some questions around how I source uh, – what's it called? How I source in liquidation.com. So I'll walk through kind of how I look to manifest, what I look for, determine a profit. Uh, it's using the chat. So right off the bat, before I scroll up, Scott L., you got six Barbie careers babysitters? Was that because of my tip? Hopefully. But how'd you find six? Who do we have in the chat? Chris, nice. How's it going? I haven't seen you in a while. Catherine, Gail. Everyone's staying. Looks like everyone's cold. Uh, Adam, hey, how's it going? Thought you were out. I was hoping you'd come on. Diesel, how's it going? Diesel, I sent you your code. Uh, let me know if you got it. Donna, Michelle. Nice. So, Scott, let me know how that works out. Uh, I bought um, the doctor ones, so uh, I'm going to send those in. I got two of them. But we'll see. But, yeah, keep us posted if you could sell those uh, babysitter ones. Because the ones with the, the Barbies with the two babies are real high right now. And, again, I don't know if that's Q4, but we'll see. Yeah, Chris, bids are really high right now. That's why i kind of been putting it off, and I'm trying to get through my death pile right here. Uh, status on the Western Digital hard drive you saw last night. Uh, I was able to download some Western Digital utilities and play with it, but my computer can still not recognize it. So I'm, I'm going to open up a case. It's still under warranty. I'm going to send that in, and uh, I'll get uh, a refurbished one back, which is fine. So, oh, it looks like everyone's supposed to get snow. Not here. We're not supposed to get any snow, at least as far as I know. We're not going to get any of the, what is it? The snoreaster or snow easter i don't know what they're calling it but i had to learn about a lot of our builder warehouses that uh we do freight with let them know what's coming all right uh the other thing so you saw this last night when you get these eton i believe on the manifest for liquidation they listed this as uh bluetooth and this one is not bluetooth similar to the sony headsets you will see, I'm trying to find it in my manifest. Uh, I can't find it. Anyways, similar to uh, the Sony's, you will see a dash BT. This one does not have the dash BT. Uh, so this is not the Bluetooth one, which is fine. I see a lot of these up on eBay. They're incorrectly marked as Bluetooth. Hey, Chris, get a hold of me if you get a ring doorbell in oh okay yeah i'll let you know i was like ring ring doorbell i got you all right uh bomb cyclone is what they're calling it <laughs> in canada all right so yeah just keep in mind the bluetooth this is not bluetooth they are incorrectly listed on some listings so on ebay so when i'm mirrored i'm like i can't find bluetooth go to find out it's not there the barbie sell about 20 times a month yeah, so that was, Scott, I don't know if we want to connect after. I know looking at Keepa and looking at Camel Camel, I can look at sales rank. But similar to eBay, I can't go to sold listings and see how many sold each day. I don't know if there's in FBA if there's a way to see solds by day because that would help me determine, okay, the fact. I have sales per month, so sales quantity per month. I guess I can make a guess based on uh, in the technical arbitrage on the right. 
Scott, I'll use Jungle Scout. Okay. So maybe that's what I need to try out. Uh, I sold one of these. Uh, this is the Soul Republic. This did not have the earbuds. All it had was the charge case. I sold this for $30. So charge case only. So that sold. Uh, this off-brand, you saw this last night. I sold that for 11 Sold a switch for 9 Wall switch. I adjusted the price on this and took a couple dollars off. I sold this thermos. So I sold this for about 22 And Donna's item, well, hold on. I sold the bingo sheet. I sold this. Can you believe that? Sold it. Sold that for 20 bucks. Easily fit in a regional A. So it's good to go. So that was Donna's. Donna's price helped me out with that one. And then I sold a type USB hub for hey Demir's back. How's it going? These ended up working. At least I powered them on. They worked well. I sold this for 70 bucks. So that sold, and again, the box is ripped. I put it in the listing, and that's sold, that's sold within probably 10 minutes of me listing it. I have another one. The other one I showed you works well uh, as well. Chris, I got a Google Pixel phone now. Pictures for eBay is so much better. Yeah, I have the iPhone X along the same lines. I mean, pictures are super clear. I've heard good things about the Pixel phone as well. All right, so let me switch over to uh, screen share. All right, so I want one, a couple key points as I look at liquidation. Uh, I'll try to get your questions as I look at it because I'm going to share my screen. So let me just log in here. Uh, all right, so. Active and running. I have one lot I'm looking at. Let me go to the front page here. So there's a couple ways you can look. Uh, if you're just starting off on liquidation, I would recommend you both research eBay and liquidation.com. What I would do is I would just, the way I started, is I started using the browsing tool not browsing tool, but I just started browsing. So I went to Consumer Electronics, and I just started looking. Now, I would recommend starting out, and I kind of learned this as I went, but uh, if you're going to stick to, I would stick to uh, either, uh, I've not tried any other seller, as you guys know, than Amazon, uh, Source from Amazon seller. Let's see if I can find one right here, Source from Amazon. I've stuck to them as well as uh, uh, two warehouses. The only two warehouses that come out are, are Nevada and Plainfield, Indiana. So these two, Indiana and Nevada. This one's Staples, but I haven't touched Staples. So I would recommend just looking through here. Uh, I started off by just clicking on auctions. So for example, on the Amazon, um, typically the title will have the first couple items on the manifest that are the higher price items. So the Korg KP3 pad is probably the most expensive item per their manifest. So what I do is I kind of hover over them and I kind of look at the items. Another way you can do is you can think about things around your house, right? And things you know that you like. So for example, electronics, I might start looking at Nintendo. You could type in item specific searches in here and it will give you the same sort of uh, view on queries and you can see if you hover over it expands and gives you the most expensive couple items and this is kind of the way I choose them now once you get into here I'll show you once you, let's pick this one I'll get into item quality in a little bit but I just kind of show you how I look at the auction so I come in here and I first thing I look at is again the seller where it's coming from, that'll determine kind of, I'm already kind of calculating price in my head on shipping, total weight, item count. 
Uh, so that's kind of the first things I look at. So I know Vegas is a little farther for me. Shipping is going to be a little more. Uh, the other thing you can do, and I would recommend it before you bid, is go to Shipping Details. Click on Shipping Details and click Get a Quote. Uh, once you click Get a Quote, it'll bring you to your address. Select Residential or Business. That will determine if it's a lift gate delivery or not. If you're getting a pallet, uh, I always do residential just because that's where they're delivering. But just do where they're delivering it to, what type of delivery. Hit calculate and we'll give you the price. That price is in addition to the bid as well as the premium. So Amazon's premium is 10%. So you have to add all those together and that's your price. So for example, I know this is under the threshold to so 25 pounds for me from Vegas. This is going to be 40 bucks. Plus, I think it's 10% of the base. So let's just say 20 bucks. Another 20, right? So that's 60 bucks. So 180 plus 60, that would put you at, I think I want to say 240, right? 180, 60. Yeah, so 240. So that's my price right now. So once I have the shipping premium and base cost in my head, I click on the manifest. And I look at this and say, okay, I'm going to look at the top items here. And this is actually a pretty good one because we can see it. In, uh, can you guys see this? No, you can't see that. Let me uh, get back over. So you're only seeing what I clicked on. You're not seeing the manifest. I'll show you the manifest in a second. I just want to make sure. Any questions? Chris. Oh, wow. Carol. Chris sent out your player today, compliments of Adam and Mike. Oh, man. I appreciate it, guys. So it sounds like Adam and Mike chipped in and got me a record player. I appreciate it. Adam, Adam A517, I uh, appreciate the support as well as Roland Picker. I don't know if Roland Picker's in here. But uh, I'll, I'll definitely get back to you guys. I appreciate that uh, kind gesture. <laughs> 12 sales, well, wow. six today, one on Poshmark for Michelle, two local sales. Uh, I had a, uh, I didn't add them up, I had 11 today. <laughs> Scott L., Chris, if you run into wrong pricing on Manifest, yes. So I'll get into that once I show you the list here. So yeah, I can't thank you guys enough. Adam and Mike, I sincerely appreciate it. That's awesome. And Carol, thank you as well. So I'll definitely do something for you guys. I, I definitely appreciate it. All right, so back to the manifest. Scott L. asked about um, manifest. All right, so we look at the manifest. Now, I come to find out certain items that are price wrong. Uh, pricing is one thing. Uh, item quality is kind of the second thing you got to think, look about. Think about, sorry. So item quality, when I talk about item quality, as I mean certain items you will always get that will nine times out of ten not be broken, not missing pieces, uh, will pretty much be in mint condition. And I have a couple of those in my back pocket that I always look for. Uh, some items that I am very wary of in terms of pricing, in terms of quality, in terms of um, missing pieces, headphones. Headphones are very risky. I've been on headphone a lot, lots, uh, not banking. I'm going to get any of them working. So headphones are items that I stay away from. Granted, I will buy some headphone lots, but I will assume they're all broken. Don't put all your eggs on an, a headphone lot. Computer parts, I know, Demir, you like computer parts. Uh, if you're really savvy with computer parts in term, terms of soldering, um, that's probably something you, you can take on. For me, I kind of... I don't bid on something just for a computer piece. Uh, cell phone cases are misquoted. They're going to say life-proof cases are $80 to $90. Uh, granted, you will probably go to the store and see them for $80 to $90. But, for example, on eBay, you're only going to sell those. Granted, if everything's in there, you're only going to sell them for $30. So think about that in terms of pricing. Cell phone cases are going to be way high. And uh, earphones are going to probably be way high, depending on the brand and type. So that's something to think about. And what I do, basically, is I take my top items. Now, for this one, 
Granted, the all-in price for me right now is probably, I said, what, 240 250 I wouldn't bank on this working. What I would bank on the switch line here is your head handsets. Now, I know these Joy-Con, the blue and neon, the reds, those can sell for 70 bucks. Uh, and I will give a tip, to, and you guys know that have watched me every day, the Joy-Con units, they sell, and they are not broken. I've had one set where I had a buyer complain that something was wrong with one of the sides. But other than that, uh, the Joy-Cons have done well. So as I start looking at it, I kind of look at that. I And I assume broken based on uh, type of item. So this next one, this is a headphone unit. Now, Sennheiser, Sennheiser, I don't know how you say it, but they're high-quality headphones. I would bank on these being busted, either the hinge broken or the side earbuds blown out. I would assume I would get half the selling price for a new unit. So what I then do is I'm not going to test all of these, but I'll give you a couple of what I'm going to do. So keep in mind, I'm going to pull the Sennheiser unit, and I'm going to pull... Um, these so the pixel pressure units i don't think they're worth that much but i'll take that and i will take uh what else would i look at i'll pull the voyager headset as an idea so let's look at those three things and we'll talk through those as i show you let me get over to my ebay screen and i'll get back for questions all right so then uh so adam good point uh, sorted office supplies, so you can have assorted office supplies, which are probably uh, pens, pads, papers. Uh, so, and then you get assorted electronics. Those are also twenty nine ninety nine. Those uh, sorted products, uh, electronics. Sometimes you'll get, you know, something awesome that works very well. Other times it's junk unit that they don't know what it was and it's off brand. So that's kind of the assorted. Good point, Adam, on that. Scott L., I got lucky. Two of my $400 Sony headphones worked. Yeah, that's the other thing. So sometimes you get lucky. So those, for example, those Sennheiser units, uh, you know, you can get headphones that are brand new and someone opened them. Sorry, I thought it hit stop. Uh, someone opened them and they just didn't like them and returned them. So like, for example, this is pretty much brand new. And I could probably get, I, without the Bluetooth, I'd have to look it back up. But you can get anywhere between 60 and 80 bucks for those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen on eBay. Now, I use eBay. Whatever your selling channel is, is where you're going to take your items and you're going to look them up. So I'd like to get your guys in the chat feedback as well, uh, how you guys look up products, be it on liquidation or any other wholesale, uh, any other liquidation avenue that you go through. <laughs> So let's see. Scott L, 400 poly bags, four different sizes, $25. Where'd you get those from? Uh, AJ, yeah. So sometimes you get lucky. You can get more than one of the units. They could screw up on the manifest and give you more or less. But the less scenario, I'll go through in a different video. But the more scenario, if you get more in the lot than on the manifest, you know, that's, that's a plus for you. All right. So let me share my screen for eBay. So. I'm using eBay. Use whatever channel you're going to sell your products on. Uh, you're you're not going to get MSRP, uh, so just keep in mind you're only going to get what your selling channel will dictate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take eBay here, and I'm going to pull that manifest, and I and I'm going to copy exactly what this says. And Demir, you are correct. Uh, take the UPCs with a grain of salt. They could be wrong as well. Um, even the model numbers could be wrong. So double check your manifest against the box, against the unit. Test, because something, a lot of times the manifest, like for example, I got a Sony headphone unit and uh, and they misquoted the model number. Well, on the box, the model number was different from the manifest. So make sure you list the appropriate model number. Don't take their model number on the manifest as gold. All right, so looking at this unit, this headphone unit is currently now, I'm looking at listings right now. The manifest and liquidation said the retail price was 180. Now we're seeing these are listed for 219, 189, 280, see 119. Now you gotta keep in mind too, keep in mind of condition. 
uh, and model numbers of the listings. So I just kind of scroll through here and I look at what the listings are at. So it's as high as 250 and as low as 120 right now. And this, I just do a quick look, right? Then what I do is I click on sold. And what I do is I look at sold and what they're selling for. So selling that they've looking that they've been sold for about $200. If these if you got these and these were busted and just looking at the picture, you could sell you you could tell you have multiple pieces. And again, don't assume you're going to get every piece. But I would assume if this was broken, and I'm going to assume, um, I might be able to get anywhere between fifty to two hundred dollars. Maybe one eighty nine is if everything works. I would probably list it for one eighty nine, just because you know one eighty nine is probably the the median price, which we're looking at here, trending two oh eight. So again, do not be discouraged if things are broken. Just plan for it. If you plan for it. And you prepare for your items to be in a certain condition, then you will be just fine. Now that headphone unit kind of matched, if not exceeded, what the manifest said. But we'll pay. We'll take another one. I'm gonna. I want to pull one where the, the MSRP is wrong. Plantronics are hit or miss. I think the 5200 I had before, the 5200 I sold just the headset unit for about. 40 to 50 dollars uh, which is crazy to me but yeah and a lot of times so this unit looks exactly like a lowered model number model unit that uh, Plantronics sells so they could have misquoted the model number and you you might get the 20 dollar version versus the 90 dollar version so again this version also sells for you know 80 bucks so this lot to me I would bid on this lot. Now, the thing you got to look for, out for is stuff you don't know about. This, I have no idea what this is. HD dash camera. So dash cameras probably aren't much. Never heard of that. I mean, I can look it up. So that's the fourth item. The items that you don't know about, like this Graymax video stabilizer. Let me pull that one. That one on the manifest says $86. So let's search that one. So you get the gist of what I'm doing. I'm pulling the top couple items and I'm searching. What are they? What are they selling for? And my assumption is I can sell half for a like new item if it's busted. Someone out there is in the market for busted products and they will buy it. So if I would assume everything was busted on the top, and I know not everything will be busted, uh, I have not had every high price item busted. Uh, so if I assume most of them is going to be broken, I will still make money in this lot. So this would be a good lot. But you get the gist of what I'm doing. So that's basically how I go through the manifest. Uh, and then I write stuff down as I buy stuff and I sell it and I research it. I know what items sell and what items are broken, what items are not. So make a list of items that you know are your bread and butter items. And those are the items you're going to search for. Even once you learn those items in liquidation, go on Facebook Marketplace. Look for those items. You know they're worth. So I know that those uh, Joy-Con units are worth 60 bucks. If I go on Facebook Marketplace and uh, talk someone down on some units for 40 bucks, hey, that's a $10 swing. I mean, I'm not taking account fees, but you get the idea, right? You get to learn the items. You get to learn what to look for, and you can flip them on multiple spots. AJ, I haven't got a working Plantronics yet. See? So now as you're learning, as you're buying units, and you're buying lots, you're learning the products that work and that don't work. Uh, HBS headphones, the LG headphones, half the time they're knockoff LG headsets. Half the time they're busted and half the time they're not working. So do, I would not base a, an auction on an HBS headphone. Chris, yeah, dash cams are good. It depends on the brand. I agree with that. A lot of times they put the off-brand Dash cams is worth $100. So uh, just look as you're looking at the top items. Now, I don't go through the whole manifest. That's the other thing. I do not go through every item. I know the top 10% of my items will pay for my lot. Those are the items that I concentrate on, and those are the items that I base my lot on. Adam, exactly. Yep, my dymos never work. I am never... If it's in a lot, it's in a lot, and I'll get it, but I'm not basing my decision on a Dymo printer. Uh, 
I haven't tested the one that looks like it's going to work, but yeah, those are something I don't look at. Uh, Four Oaks says, I got a Plantronics 5200-UC. The shipping box was a return. Nobody opened, and the charging case and dongle missing. Had the people's packing slip in the box. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> That's the other thing. They won't, and I don't think they do. They don't open. They, being liquidation, does not open the boxes to look at them because, to Four Oaks's point, I've had some switch outs. Very rare, but it happens. I probably had, I don't know, five in over the 120 boxes I've purchased for or auctions I've purchased from liquidation. Uh, switch outs are rare, but at least in the high price items, it happens. Um, and you just got to bounce back, buy another one, you'll make your money back. Catherine, the ones you get are not brand new. What do you look for the most to get? What do you mean? Can you rephrase that question? The ones you get are not brand new. I'll wait for you to rephrase that. Demir, I had three different Dymo models, and they work fine. See? You got yours to work. Yeah. Demir gets some nice c computer lots. Uh, I just sold a computer item yesterday, Demir. I was hoping you'd be on, but it was a Planet Audio uh, switchboard. The ones you got are not brand new. What? What you look for the most to get? What items do I look for the most to get? Um, a lot of the game lots I've been at, a lot of the game controllers do well. High end headphones, high end stuff works well. Just because high end covers yourself, because high end items, people are looking for high end parts. Uh, so the worst, like the Sennheiser, there's headphones out there that'll sell for two hundred dollars if they work. If they don't work, they'll sell for a hundred. So those high-end items I know will, will make my money back, even if they're busted. Now the demos I got, they worked or I fixed them. So Four Oaks, what'd you do to fix them? Brand new scratch and dent returns. So Catherine, I look at returns. Uh, I, that's all I look for. Um, I have not done shelf pulls and I've done not done scratch and dent. AJ, you got a return for an Xbox Elite controller. That's another item I love. Uh, a lot of people like to fix those. A lot of people like those for parts if they don't work. If they do work, you got a cool $100 to $114 in your pocket, at least. What happened? Why did you take the return on that one? Said it drifted. Hmm. I would. Hopefully, you took the return, paid for the shipping back, and then just sold it. So if that's the case, I'd probably relist it for $69.99. Someone will be able to fix that. They had jammed labels. Yeah, so the Dymos, I'm thinking, have jammed labels. And Eagle Eyes in the chat, and I forget who it was. Was it Adam that you picked it out? I forget who picked it out. Someone lo It looks like they loaded the labels backwards. So uh, I need to test that one out. But, yeah, a lot of – that's the other thing. with For me, a lot of times electronics, people don't know how to use them. Uh, or they put things in wrong or they don't pair it correctly. Um, warranty, you get to learn your warranty items. And we've talked about warranty items before. Uh, those, again, you're chancing it on some of the warranty items, but you can still make your money and get them fixed. Uh, yeah, so, so that I'm, I'm talking basically, and you can apply mainly, mainly what I do with electronics. You can apply it to other brands. I don't know about clothes, but think about tools. I do the same thing with tools. High-end tool units, high-end stuff. You think about Home Depot and Lowe's, right? High-end uh, home automation. You think about uh, automated doorbells, as Chris said earlier. Uh, tools. You could part out tools all day. You could part out uh, uh, doorbell units. You could part out thermostats. You could part out all that stuff. So tools are work really well as well. Again, name brand, high-end products will do well there as well. But the thing about tools that might kill you is shipping. If you get a heavy lot, it could be upwards over 100, 150 bucks. Adam asks, anyone know how to fix a Keurig? Mine's two months old and the water's not coming out. So Adam, if you, <coughs> uh, you might need to descale de it. You should have gotten a little orange thing with it. If you stick it in the top, there's some directions and there's videos out there that show you how to do it. But it's just something, a coffee ground might be stuck in the needle on the inside. 
So I can help you out with that if you need some help. Anthony Fry, hey, how's it going? Do you factor in 50% of the sold price on eBay for busted? Um, Anthony, so for the higher price items, I do. The lower price items, I'm just going to throw away. And lower price meaning below $8 to $7. If it's busted, I'm throwing it away. Even uh, lower priced LG headphones, if they're busted, I'm tossing them. Higher end units, uh, controllers. Uh, what else? Controllers, headphones, um, high-end cameras, all that stuff that's broken, that's the 50% that I do. Uh, as you get down the line in the manifest, you think $20, $40, you could sell it, but then you just got to gotta factor in weight and shipping at that point because then you're just going to probably be breaking even or making a dollar or two. You, you could list it and try it that way, but the 50% really rule for me is really high-end. Uh, Bryson, oh, this is a good idea. I take my PS4 and Xbox controllers to GameStop and have them test the controller for me. They hook it up, and it's a test program they use for all buttons, joysticks, drifts, motion, axis, sensor, etc. That is a great idea. I didn't even think of that. So Bryson's point, in case you missed it, is take it to a, a GameStop, and they'll test it for you. Now, I can test PS4 because I have PS4, but Bryson, to your point, I could take my Xbox uh, One stuff over there. You could take your games, I bet, and I think I have uh, saw in a couple other videos, you could take your video games there and they'll clean them for you for a fee. I'm not sure. So, yeah, great point. That's a great idea. Catherine, do auto parts sell well on eBay? Uh, I've sold uh, door actuators. Um, what other car parts have I sold? I haven't sold my blinker yet, my uh, blinker switch. But I would think they do. Electronic pieces. They they should uh, sell well. Yeah, Chris Adam needs to descale his uh, needle. Got Injustice Two Ultimate Edition. Oh, nice! And every, it uh, looks all right. I got an Injustice Two, not Ultimate, but someone swapped out a fake CD. Yeah, Vegas warehouses. It can. That's tough for me sometimes too because shipping will be high, at least for me. Yeah, Catherine, yeah, take Bryson's idea. Hit that game stop up. They'll uh, test it for you. Scott, yeah, you're lucky. You get to pick them up from Vegas. I said last time I'd swing by, but next time I go to ASD, I want to swing by the uh, liquidation Vegas warehouse and check it out. Uh, I sell car air filters online every day. Nice. Uh, Jimma sells headlights and taillights online, eBay. Yeah, so I would think auto parts, electronics, tools, uh, I think that stuff would sell really well. Yeah, Demir, hopefully you're feeling better. So hopefully that answers your questions. I like to uh, – I will be at ASD as well. Who else will be there? So it sounds like Scott L. you'll be there. I will be there. I'm probably going to fly in Saturday, leave Tuesday, Tuesday morning. But, yes, I will be at ASD in March. I'm going to try to come March and August. So I first year was August last year, first time, I should say. So now that I understand the lay of the land and what to expect, I'll be better prepared in March. I'll try to put some videos out there, kind of what I learned and what to look for. Four Oaks, you can clean discs with 91% alcohol and cotton balls. Okay. Now, the only thing you couldn't do, I guess, unless you have another trick is uh, – Buffing, right? If you're some scratches, you'd have to buff them out. 500 air filters. Holy cow. Scott, yeah. So, yeah, we can plan to do a meetup. Uh, once we get closer, we can get some more people uh, uh, who's going. And, uh, yeah, we'll meet up. So whoever wants to meet up as we get closer, we'll uh, schedule something. I'll let you guys know. Where. Right now, I think my uh, reservation's at, I think it's at Harris. But I'm probably going to change it as we get closer. As we get closer, prices drop. But right now I'm at Harris. Usually I'm at the Westgate. Or I was at the Westgate, I should say. But yeah, I'd love to check out the liquidation warehouse. Uh, ASD, I always forget what, <laughs> excuse me, what it stands for. Uh, let's see. <laughs> sales Direct something. All Sales Direct? No. I'm looking it up. I always forget what it's. 
But uh, AJ, it's basically a place where it's market week where a bunch of vendors come in and you can look at buying product from multiple people. Uh, Scott doesn't need reservations. That's true. Uh, you can, uh, they have every type of product possible. It's in gigantic convention centers and you walk around, talk to vendors, try and buy product, try and uh, form connections to get product for uh, your stores. Plus you network too, so networking is great. That's kind of why I like it. I like to network and not only, so this time I'll probably be looking more for, uh, I'll go more on my goals later, but I'm trying to look for different lines, so hard lines, soft lines, and uh, uh, one of each. Oh yeah, good point, Scott. So they also have an international section. So I talked to some people about wireless earbuds uh, for any of them as well. So yeah, so that's ASD in a nutshell. I'll have another show on that as we get closer. But yeah, Scott, let's. I'll schedule a meetup. I'll follow, if if you're not watching and you're not subscribed to our Facebook group, make sure you check it out. I appreciate everyone coming on. But yeah, head over to the Facebook, give the video a like if you if you like the content. If there's something that I didn't touch on, leave a comment down below, and I'll let you know what I do. But I tried to touch on exactly what I look for and how I bet on lots. But uh, just pay attention and make sure. Uh, you're not, I mean, you can do it just to break even, but do it for profit, right? So try to make some money. And once you make your money off your first <coughs> 10%, the rest of that stuff on that manifest is going to be your uh, profit or your gravy. So hopefully uh, hopefully that helped, guys. Hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe. We'll see you in the Facebook group, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And then Adam and Mike, I appreciate it, Carol. Again, thank you very much. Right, thanks, guys, for everything. Thanks for every, everyone. Thank you for everything. I'll talk to you later.